Okay, hello. Um, well, today I thought I might have a go at trying to show everyone how to uh, shrink, uh, heat shrink, shrink plastic. Um, I've got a few I've already done here. But first, of course, before I'm going to use a heat product, which I'm going to use a, uh, a craft gun heat tool. I bought this from um, a craft shop. It's the Paper, Paper Mania one, but there's plenty of others. Um, you want to make sure you protect your surface. So on my desk, I have... Um, like a paper, pa a plastic uh, desk protector, paper pad. Uh, I bought it from uh, Lidl a few years ago. Um, underneath that, I have, I just pull this back. I've got um, this rubber heat uh, protector mat tool. Uh, it's from Do Craft. You can buy them from any sort of general sort of craft shop. It's like a rubber, like a rubbery mat. Uh, I've got that underneath there. You could also use something like a uh, a cork mat or or even just a, a wooden chopping board, anything to protect your surface, really. So I've got those other things. It's other things you could use. On top of that, I have my Teflon sheet. Now you can buy these from uh, good craft places. Um, they're really good because they're non-stick, and they can take up to two hundred and fifty degrees heat as well. But it, hopefully the heat gun won't go up to that much anyway. So that's just to protect my work surface. Now, uh, shrink plastic shrinks about. Well, it depends on the product you're using. Um, shrink plastic will shrink about just over half its original size. So the the pink uh, pastel pink shrink plastic I used is from uh, Shrinkles. It's a, a British uh, owned company. Um, there's plenty of others. There's one called Graphics, which is American, um, and there's Poly Shrink as well, which I think is another American company. So there's loads of different types of shrink plastic. Always check their instructions, uh, and they tell you um, how how many times it will shrink down. They say seven times, but this is the um, original uh, heart shape of the shrink plastic. Um, you can see it's about, I've measured it, it's about four and a half centimetres. This is the same one, but shrunk down. Uh, you can see uh, the complete difference. So that's about two centimetres wide. So just bear that in mind when you're taking, uh, you know, sort of doing your designs. Um, I cut these out of um, the shrink plastic using a, um, a, a, a sort of electronic cutting tool with my brother scan and cut. But you can hand cut them if you're you're pretty good at cutting out. Um, I've also pre-done my hole. Don't forget, if you want to make this into jewellery, uh, make sure you cut a hole out. So I've used it with a hole punch. I just bought this off um, eBay. Uh, or you can use a double hole punch, but you've got to be pretty um, skilled at trying to match the holes up. So uh, that's your that's the thing I'm going to shrink. I've got my heat gun tool. Now the next thing is you've got to hold it down while you're blowing the heat tool onto it. Um, so do not use your fingers. Uh, use a, 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 an apply or a tool. So I, you can either use a pair of tweezers, or because I'm also a, a silversmith, a jewelry maker, I have reverse action pliers. Um, basically, anything that will protect your hands while you're just gonna hold on to it while the heat gun's doing its job. You could possibly perhaps use a, a, a barbecue skewer or something like that. As long as you can hold it down uh, without stopping it shrinking. Now it will take a while to, to heat up properly. Um, so I'm gonna use. I'm gonna hold on to it. Uh, just using the uh, my tweezers for the time being. I'm going to put it up. I've got a two um, two setting heat gun. I'm probably going to use the uh, the number two setting because um, you can either shrink shrink plastic in the oven and it, it's about 170 degrees uh, for literally a few minutes. Um, but if you've got a smaller project, uh, you can actually um, shrink them down using a heat gun. Uh, it's a bit easy sometimes. Uh, you've got to be careful on how big your your item is. If it's too big uh, and you're using a heat gun, it does have a tendency perhaps to shrink up and then stick to each other. So it's the heat gun method is probably better if you're using a, a smaller sort of shape, um, probably five, six centimetres, that kind of thing. It's not at the end of the world. You can probably pull it apart as well. It's pretty forgiving. But probably a smaller shape is probably better to use um, uh, for the heat gun. So we'll just turn the heat gun on and you've got to just keep sort of using the heat gun uh, around and round and round and just sort of just keep moving it slightly uh, and just uh, wait until it shrinks so we'll just see how it goes. You see, you see now that it's actually blowing away so you really want to make sure you hold on to it. See, if you start it moving now, it's starting to move. Actually it didn't take long at all. I thought it was going to take a bit quicker than that. A bit longer maybe. You can see it's starting to shrink down. I pull the heat gun away a bit. You think, oh no, it's gone. Ah, look, it's gone shrinking. But don't worry, it will relax again, hopefully. 
just keep keep the heat on it. I'm gonna try and remove it a bit. Make sure my pinching the pinching hairs go now. The shrink the, uh, the holes actually shrunk down. Look, it's starting to relax again into its original shape. You can see that. I think that's uh, just a little bit longer just to make sure. Take my Take one out, let's see. I think that's just about done. I'll just turn that off. Turn that off. Make sure that's come out. Now I would probably just try and slam something on it because you want to try and make sure it's flat. Of course, you could probably make it textured if you want to. I'm gonna probably try and do another little video about that. But just hold it down just a sec just for a second. I've just um grabbed my wooden chopping board. I sometimes use a a big book, <laughs> anything that's heavy and, and uh, heat proof. So I'll just move it back, and there we go. You can see it's a lot smaller than it was, and yeah, it's pretty pretty much cooled down now. So you can see they they sort of shrink down to relatively about the same size. What I did is I reversed this one. There's a shiny side and a matte side, and I made sure that they reversed. So when I make them as earrings, they'll reverse them like that. Um, and there we go, and that's uh, the uh, the little tutorial on how to shrink shrink plastic using a heat gun. Thanks for watching.